what is up guys welcome to my in-depth guide for Genji and all the stats that you guys are going to be wanting to know to combat this guy or master it young Genji over here but anyways let's go ahead and get started so first off his passive is cyber agility that allows him to perform a double jump as well as be able to run on walls now uh, you can actually double jump then wall run and then jump off the wall but you will no longer get that double jump after you have already wall ran and double jumped to initiate that essential wall run. Uh, this is great to infiltrate as well as to use uh, to escape some of your enemies. Uh, but that's it for his passive, pretty straightforward, really really good passive, being able to double jump and being able to strafe and you can actually control his movement pretty well. Like if I jump to the right and then I jump again, I can change my DI, so my directional influence can change on the second jump, it's not like you're influenced by the first jump. So really really good stuff over there. Uh, his next ability is the uh, Shuriken, so that's his basic fire. It deals 28 damage and it shoots 3 in a burst, so similar to like a battle rifle if you want to call it like that. You can actually drag the uh, shots, so you can have them spread over a very very far distance depending on your sensitivity. Now these have no uh, reduction on range and they are 100% accurate, which means as long as the target isn't moving and you put your cursor over them, it's going to hit them. Uh, you can uh, lead your shots just a little bit depending on how far the target is away and like I said in addition to that there is no drop off as far as the range goes. Uh, the ammo it holds 24 and the reload time is just one second and uh, the fire rate is actually three per second so it's basically you know you're gonna go through a burst per second and after you shoot there is a small delay and we will talk about how to cancel the animation later on uh, with some other stuff. You used to be able to cancel uh, other things but they have changed that since some of the uh, patches but that's his basic fire. His alternate fire on the Ashurkins will shoot three of them at once um, instantly. It's not a burst, um, it's just going to shoot all three at once. The rate of fire on this is actually faster. The stats are all the same, it's still going to be 100% accurate. There's no drop off in range, it's still going to be dealing 28 damage, and it fires horizontally. And um, the interesting thing with this is it does fire faster. The average range at which you want to engage with using the uh, right click or alternate fire is about 5 meters. Uh, depending on what you're engaging, some targets are larger than others. For example, Roadhog is huge, Winston is huge. So you can alt fire at a much further distance uh, and you'll be able to hit them. You'll see that the hitboxes are relatively generous in this game. Uh, if you guys haven't seen my video on the uh, hitboxes, I'll link that down below and you guys can uh, definitely check that out. But uh, yeah, if you are about 5 meters, you definitely want to right click instead of left clicking. The reason why, uh, again, is it's going to have a faster fire rate. Now, I also find it easier to technically headshot with this. Um, and again, since the fire rate is faster, at about 5 meters and under, uh, you want to do that. Uh, now, you can actually cancel the uh, animation of his alternate fire with melee instantly. And usually the, the combo that people go for, if you are in close range or if the target is weak enough, is to alt fire. Uh, melee then dash and I'll show you guys what that looks like in just a second so it's really fast uh, pretty much they have no time to react if something is frozen or stunned it's really really easy to pull off uh, just a really like easy bread and butter combo and then you know, obviously you get your reset and you can repeat this uh, tons of times if May freezes something maybe if Reinhardt you know ground slams and hits them all you can use that to your advantage so I'll show you guys once again what that looks like so he's dead and you can do this in game it's a little bit harder obviously when the targets are moving but you can see Genji is very very viable uh, he's very very fast at getting kills if you are very accurate with him. Uh, his next ability is Deflect. So it reflects most projectiles and the reason why I say most is some things aren't considered projectiles so to speak in the game and we'll go over that when we go over what he can reflect as far as ultimates. You can reflect some ultimates, uh, again we'll go over that in just a moment once we go over the ultimates, but the cooldown is 8 seconds and you reflect it as if it was yours. So if something cannot headshot, um, certain things in the game cannot headshot, um, well you can get a headshot but it won't do any extra damage, it won't get a multiplier. Um, if the original projectile could get a headshot, you can get a headshot, and you reflect it as if it was yours. So if it would do something to freeze, it'll still do everything. Again, just think of it as if it was your projectile and you're shooting it back at them. Um, you cannot reflect these ults. Uh, D.Va, when she ults and she uh, sends her mech out to self-destruct, you can't reflect that. You can't reflect Junk uh, Junkrat's uh, ultimate, the rip tire, or uh, Reinhardt. Uh, you cannot reflect his uh, ground slam. I was thinking maybe since it's uh, something that's going on the ground, you can consider that kind of projectile, but anything that is melee, so Genji cannot reflect Genji's ult because Genji's ult is uh, a melee attack anyways. I know it, it has extra range and has different stats, but for the most part, you can't reflect those ults. You can reflect maze, you can reflect tracers, you can 
reflect Reapers. Obviously, things like uh, oh, Lucio's sound sound barrier. You can't reflect that. That'd be amazing if you could reflect it and it would work on your teammates. But um, you can't reflect Mercy Ults. I think that's a given. But I just wanted to tell you guys you can't reflect Diva, Jackman, or Reinhardt because those are some things that I think maybe some people had questions about. But obviously, if it's a melee ability, uh, yeah, you can't reflect it. Now, um, if if you reflect another Genji's, uh, well, if someone shoots at you, you reflect it, Genji can infinitely reflect. So if you have double Genji and say the cooldown was short enough, you can infinitely reflect that one projectile. It was actually a, a Japanese video where people were playing badminton. I'll link that down below in the description box if any of you guys want to check that out, but the deflect can infinitely deflect over and over. Uh, again, that's if there's like oh, another Genji there. Uh, but yes, uh, yeah, you can't deflect every ultimate, but you can uh, deflect quite a bit of them. Uh, next up, his next ability is the Swift Strike. So that's on a cooldown of 8 seconds. You dash 14 meters. So let's go ahead and go and show what you what 14 meters looks like. It hits up to 16 depending if they are in diagonal. If you guys haven't seen the video on the hitboxes of this game, so this will be 0 and uh, this enemy would be uh, 20 meters. So that means if we sit here at 5, we should be able to hit them. But uh, this is this is going to be 5 meters. I'm going to sit about, about 1 meter back. And I'm going to try to hit him from the side. You guys will see that, again, the hitboxes in this game are a little bit strange, but uh, let's see if we can get this hit. So you can see we still get that hit, uh, even though we were a little bit further back. You dash up to 14 meters. Then, of course, this uh, the dash is going to have uh, a little bit of range on that. But in addition to that, depending on the angle at which you hit, you could actually gain one meter of range. Uh, again, if you guys haven't seen the video of the hitboxes in this game, I'll link it down. Certain things work better at angles. It's just the way that the game works. Um, and it deals 50 damage to everything in the path. So let's say I get uh, this training bot really weak and this training bot really weak. I can dash through and they'll kill both of them. It doesn't matter how many targets are in the way, you will dash through them. You can also dash through objects. So if um, there was a like uh, a Reinhardt and a shield was up, you can still dash through that uh, really easy stuff. But um, certain things you cannot dash through. Like, okay, well, some of these uh, barriers you can break. Let's, I don't know if there's any in the training room that uh, you can break. But yeah, you can go through certain objects. Again, it just kind of depends on the object and uh, initially at the level. Let's see if we can... Some of the, Sometimes uh, it'll path around. You can see that I wasn't able to go straight through it. I was seeing if I can use this as a path. Um, they have patched a lot of walls and areas where Symmetra can set up her turrets, so they're, they're going to be patching a lot of things. But uh, some objects you will path around. Like, you'll see where I'm aiming right now, and if I dash through, I will still go to that intended target, essentially. Although this would be blocking my path, so there's a lot of stuff with Swift Strike that is a little bit strange. Um, but there are a lot of walls in this game that don't work properly. Again, if you guys haven't seen the hitboxes, I uh, highly recommend you guys to watch that video. You'll see that there are certain walls uh, that just behave weird. And you can see this random wall, like the, the, the shurikens or ninja stars shouldn't be getting stuck on this. And this one goes out pretty far, like you can see I should be able to shoot right here. But uh, it is getting stuck on uh, this wall over here. But yeah, there's a lot of strange stuff on certain walls again. This should be patched anyways. Uh, this does, again, reset on kills. So if I was to get this target low um, and I was able to uh, swift strike, as long as I get a kill or an assist, uh, I will be able to reset my swift strike. So basically, it's uh, the only hero right now in the game which has like a uh, on kill uh, reset, which I really love. I wish you got deflect also, but uh, that's asking for a lot. But uh, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and go over the next ability, which is going to be his ultimate. So there's a lot of stuff that people don't know about with his ultimate. So his ultimate has a cast time. During that cast time, when it is going up, so if I uh, go ahead and, and show you guys, during this cast time, I can't do anything for a short period of time. That short period of time is one second. It lasts eight seconds and it refreshes Swift Strike uh, as soon as I activate it. So if I've already used Swift Strike and then I use my ultimate, it'll reset it and it won't be on cooldown regardless of what the time is. Um, your basic and alt fire will be replaced. However, you can still use Swift Strike and Deflect. Um, and um, it is a melee attack and it has uh, extra range. The range it's 5 to 6 meters, and it deals 120 damage. The fire rate is 1 per second, so you can hit uh, reasonably 7 people. Uh, the reason why is because uh, majority of the time, if, I guess you could technically hold it down, but you want to actually try to time some of your stuff, and we'll get into that uh, once I show you the animation canceling with that. Um, you can use all of your abilities during the ultimate. Uh, obviously, you won't be able to have access to melee because it, it doesn't give you that access because you're replacing your... Um, uh, your basic and alt fire with uh, melees, 
and uh, let's go ahead and kill this so I can show you guys that real quick. So when I'm using my ultimate, you will see if I use my, my melee, nothing even happens. It won't even give you anything. But I'm going to show you guys how to cancel the uh, animation of him putting back his sword. So usually there's a period where he puts back his sword and I can't do anything for that short duration. Which is one of the most frustrating things with Genji. Sometimes you'll slash and uh, you'll be in a situation where you just need to get that extra slash. But it's putting away that animation. You can't melee. You can't uh, you throw any shurikens. So you're at a huge disadvantage. So I'm going to show you guys how to actually cancel that animation. It's really easy. It's just you use Swift Strike. Um, and it will cancel out that animation. And again, I'll show you guys that. So what you want to do is make sure you have Swift, Swift Strike available uh, because it can get you killed if you aren't able to. You're, you'll literally be a sitting duck because you can use your abilities, um, but if you already use Deflect and uh, the other one is on cooldown, then uh, yeah, it can be a problem. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, activate my ult once again. And uh, this time you won't see me put back my sword. It won't do the full animation again. We are going to be canceling that animation. When he puts back his sword, all you have to do is before he puts it back, you can see right there that uh, you can't let the animation essentially start. You want to do it. You have like a very short uh, amount of frames. Uh, if you guys want to like slow down the video, um, I'll, I'll push the key relatively hard so you guys can hear it. Uh, but yeah, you want to uh, put it back before the animation essentially starts, depending on your uh, latency, you can factor that in. But yeah, you want to do it right before he's finishing that animation, pretty much at like that one second mark-ish, where it says like one. You want to go ahead and you can swift strike uh, and it can cancel. Right there I did it a little bit too early, but uh, yeah, you can cancel the animation. Uh, I'm not sure if it's because I'm recording this. Uh, it's slowing it down. But yeah, pretty much uh, you want to time it so you can uh, not have that animation be seen and that will cancel the animation. And that's actually very, very important uh, to be effective with Genji. Um, some of the uh, questions that I had when I was playing Genji, uh, when I was live streaming, some of you guys asked this a lot, and it's why do I right click so much? So now I'm going to go over some of the more subjective stuff. Uh, I've pretty much covered all of the stats that you guys are going to be wanting to know. But um, one thing that is relatively important is that you want to be able to... Um, Reflect versus a May. The reason why uh, I do it quite often is if a May is freezing you, um, you can definitely dash through, but sometimes you've already killed the target and you don't have access to that. And a lot of you guys ask, why do I reflect versus a May? It doesn't reflect her basic fire, but what it does do if, if someone shoots or if the May is trying to time herself, some Mays that are a little bit better at the game, um, they will try to right click you before the freeze finishes and what that does is it instantly free it instantly kills you before you have time to really react even though you can't react anyways it just has a faster time to kill so some maze they'll mess up the uh, animation and what will happen is they won't fully freeze you but they'll right click and they expect you to be frozen at that point and sometimes you can reflect and you can actually kill the May. So that's one reason why I reflect versus May. Another reason why is because if someone follows up and they try to shoot you and you're targeting the May, you can actually just kill the May instantly. Depending on, you know, uh, what HP she is at. But the general thing that you want to do against her is just outspace her. You want to be further away. Uh, another thing that was asked while I uh, was playing is why do I use the right click so much? So why do I use uh, this ability... Um, where I am throwing out my shurikens. What it does is it lets me see what targets are low, and then it can tell me which targets I can go in and actually kill. So it lets me see the HP. There are a few heroes that let you see your allies' HP, like Zarya, because you know you want to shield them. Uh, there isn't a option right now in the game, I don't know if they'll add it in the future, to see your enemy's HP, but generally how it works is you want to you want to attack multiple targets just to see how low a target is because Genji is an assassin and you want to be able to kill uh, targets that are relatively weak so uh, this can definitely help you guys out and uh, be able to target the ones that are weaker. So you can go ahead and get your kills and uh, also the uh, right click uh, or the alternate fire fires faster so um, it, as long as you're hitting them with two or more uh, essentially because it is 5.8 seconds not twice as fast but pretty much as long as you're hitting with two you're pretty much getting the same dps um granted that is uh if the other one's not hitting another target so you have you have a lot more to gain by right clicking uh if you don't know what their hp is at so you can use this for uh judgment and you can see how low certain targets are and then again you guys can follow up on that and uh, be able to kill other targets. So that's my in-depth stat guide for Genji. If you guys have any questions on it, uh, I feel I feel like a genius though because I didn't get the animation canceling on this. Like, <laughs> let's go ahead and get this kill. Okay, I, I just feel like a genius. I'm trying to teach you guys Genji, and then I'm like, I can't even do the animation. So there we go. I canceled the animation there. 
I just felt like a, a freaking like scrub over here, like showing you guys the tutorial on Genji, and I can't even get the animation canceled again. Uh, I'm, I'm recording this at a very high bit rate, so on the main Mac computer, 205 me. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys learned something new, and hopefully this will help you guys out as Genji learn the stats and stuff like that. And also remember to cancel that ultimate animation. It is really, 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 really important. Um, when I watch people stream and they're like, I main Genji, and they don't do that, it usually means that they're not being as effective as they could because it's a huge thing. Um, oh, also, yeah, I actually already explained the combo, which is to alt fire, melee, and then dash. And uh, what you're able to do is you can just melt targets, absolutely melt targets. Let's go ahead and go up here. It just feels so satisfying. Once you get good at Genji, um, he just feels so boss being able to go around the map and killing him. But yeah, the, the combo, once again, that you guys should practice on. Oh, uh, before you were able to cancel this, like, uh, you, you were able to shoot out less. Uh, so you can see we're at 21 over here. Um, but you can see we can cancel that animation. You used to be able to cancel it a little bit faster, but uh, you can make it so only one or two shurikens come out at a time. Uh, you want to let that finish now. Um, there was at one point uh, where you were able to cancel an animation, it would throw all the stars anyways, which was uh, it was a little bit unfair, but uh, that, has, that has been changed. But yeah, the, the basic combo is to alt fire, melee, and then dash. Remember, right click, melee dash and that will 100 to 0 a lot of targets granted that is you're getting headshots and that is granted that all conditions are in your favor <laughs> but it doesn't happen too often but once you master it it feels so dang good just to be able to go ahead and do that to multiple targets it just oh, genji just feels so good but i could rant about how much i love genji for 69 years but yeah hopefully you guys learned something new and if you did be sure to uh let me know uh what you learned and uh if there's anything you guys felt like i missed out on genji definitely let me know because uh he is my main for sure in this game but uh, anyways thanks for watching guys and i'm signing out